we've just defeated Phoebe and we're going on to the next member of the Elite Four. So yeah, for more exciting commentary. <laughs> so it was Sydney, Phoebe, yeah, and the rest. Yeah, but we're the rest. That. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just have to get all these people actually. I, are. I can't. This was the one I paid the most. I, can't remember I never names. remember the names of the Elite Four. I just remember There's so many. Well. I just yeah. remember them as apparently important characters who are beaten. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, they don't do much. They just stand there for their entire that, life. That, that's that's just a terrible lie. Yeah, and their entire life revolves around standing there waiting on the odd chance that someone might turn up to chat. <laughs> Finally, yes, yeah, someone's came. Yeah, I actually have someone to talk to. Huzzah! <laughs> I was betting that in the corner of each of their rooms they just got a radio going, just singing Lonely, I'm so lonely Trust me, if I had to listen to Icon all day, I'd shoot myself Ah, Glalie yeah. I like Glalie I kind of like Glalie It looks kind of like a... It's me It looks like the head of a cat I don't understand oh, I don't why really they know. decided to make an e another evolution for Snowman Frostless. Yeah, I, I don't mind Frostless. Like, I, just, I like Frostless, but I don't understand cooler. why they gave it to Snowman, really. No, it's just a thing they did in Gen 4 where they tried to introduce a load of completely redundant evolutions that mm. don't really. I like Gallade. Electavia is awesome, but I don't see the point in it. The same can be said for Magmora. I really don't like Magmora. It just seems like such a. Meh design. Rhyperia, Rhyperia. I don't see the point. No, in. I like Rhyperia. Rhyperia looks cool. It does look cool, but I don't see the point in it. Especially in its Pokedex description, which says uh, it, it sometimes, sometimes shoots Geodes. Yeah, it sometimes <laughs> accidentally fires Geodes. Oh like, my god. Because like, they've got these huge holes in the palm of their hands, they yeah. pick up rocks and shoot them there. Yeah. The Geodes must out. be annoying. It's like <laughs> shoots a Geodude and they're just going, ah! Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I bet this is on the internet, someone's made a picture Probably. of it. If not, someone will have to. <laughs> it's just gotta be done. So this is where I have a PP problem, because like, all of Hell Yeah's moves are quite low PP, with the exception of Slash, I think. Yeah, so I, do. I can only use him so many times. It's kind of annoying when he's kind of the powerhouse next to Gather. So mm. That's the problem I had when I used Ground On versus like, um, the Elite Four. You get to use up with it quickly. So I, I actually replaced one of his moves with Overheat there, purely so it got quite an extra fire attack. Does Glalie have Levitate? I can't remember, I don't actually think he does. I might have to check later. I just hate when they do that to certain Pokemon that clearly Levitate, yeah. but they're affected by ground moves. Geodude. Yeah. Geo <laughs> yeah. So Geodude, how does it actually Levitate? Yeah. <laughs> There's no... Uh, it's not magnetic or nothing, it's not got let's, any... Let's just stick it's not with no science. The, let's just stick with the magnetic rules. It's been in the ground for so long, bits of gravity are stuck to it. Yeah. <laughs> but that would... That goes for attraction in magnetics, it doesn't go for repel in magnetics. So, even that doesn't How about the Earth or it is attracted to the geodes? Stop applying but, the logic But it's not, is it? It floats above. It's not pulling it towards it. It's defying gravity, if anything. Is it? <laughs> it doesn't matter, it's just... <laughs> it's Pokemon. Ah, uh, Gela. <laughs> yeah, Gela's on these last in jail. This could be fun. Pokemon. Uh, let's send Badass up against the Ice types. <laughs> <laughs> I can see Stephen getting ready to rage. <laughs> yeah. Why? Celio Cel 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 is part water, so. Yeah, it's not as bad. bad. But... But I think he has got a raw beam though. That would kill you. Yeah. yeah. Especially it's since Celio's two levels higher. But then again, it's a middle form. Yeah. It's wall ride, isn't it? That's yeah, wall ride. Yeah, but we all know the wall ride is pole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be done. <laughs> See, I'm still quite under leveled for a lot of these fights, so. I just got to a point where I thought actually stop this sign writing anymore. I still prefer Dugong. Yeah, I, I quite like Dugong, but I do like Wowrun as well. Yeah. It's, it's around this sort of point where they got to kind of 
got to the point where they were kind of recycling the concepts for the things. It wasn't like where they got to blatantly reusing them like they did in Gen 5, but yeah, they started yeah, having to re yeah, yeah, they've yeah. kind of, we've, we've already done a whale sort of thing, but we're going to do another one. Um, yeah. you got to admit, poop, they are wearing that stuff in the ring, like it's They gone. are, although, saying that, People criticise Gen 5 for things like having a rubbish bag, Pokemon and that. Whereas Gen 1 had a magnet and a Pokeball and a pile of slop. <laughs> you know, like, they haven't really had a set in stone definition of what a Pokemon looks like ever, have they? Yeah. So, although, yeah, there are only so many things they can do, it's not that big of a deviation compared to what people make it out to be. Still, they made a trash bag into a Pokemon. Yeah. Who would want they a made an bag? ice cream into a Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> No, the guy, who, <laughs> the guy who designed that, like the ice cream line, I think he's actually the first British guy they've had working in Pokemon design since the series started. It's like from the first four gens, as far as I know, it was always either Sugimori or one of the other Japanese designers. But it's this time they actually got this guy. I think his name's James something. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. And um, he's contributed a few designs towards Gen Five. Well, shame on him. He made an ice cream into a Pokemon. <laughs> so basically, yeah, but Sugimori made a magnet into a Pokemon. And there ain't that, that, that was generation an ice cream. one. Like, and what came? They would have obviously that would have came before they made humans made ice cream, right? Probably. So they must have modelled it on a Pokemon. And that just seems so weird. <laughs> Mate, that's gonna make you think, though. What do people in a Pokemon world eat? It's like we're showing a world where Pokemon don't, don't get killed. So yeah, isn't they there a moment where they show, <laughs> yeah. I swear I've seen somewhere there's a moment where Ash is fantasising about eating a magic card. Um, yeah, there I is, remember yeah. there was one there point is. where someone was, uh, it was either talking about eating a barbage or actually eating a barbage, I can't remember. But uh, it's so rare we see things like that, it makes you think, what Pokemon are edible? And, Kind of. <laughs> you can't exactly, which ones would you want to eat? You can't exactly eat Geo, don't <laughs> you? Uh, yeah, yeah. You no. just eat cows. There's like somewhere yeah. in the world. Is this some cows? In? No, they just got a milk tank. Right? Yeah, milk tank. <laughs> can't eat milk tank. No, you can't because if it's any like anything like Whitney's one, it would just roll out. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we were up against Drake, the dragon type guy. Flag on. Yeah. I quite like Flygon. Oh yeah, I really like Flygon. It's now a week of, and now they've got Garchomp, the stronger version. <laughs> yeah, but Flygon's design itself, it's, yeah. it's not ridiculously dragony, but it's got the kind of dragon feel to it. It's it? got a bug it looks like, to yeah, it It's like futuristic. Yeah. Well. That's the yeah. 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 Plus, if you think like about it, it, if you look at its tail, the shape of it, and that, it's similar to Gardenia's badge. Yeah, in a way. What I will point out here is along its neck, it's just that same light green colour, isn't it? Yeah, in some of the TCG card art, they just had another one of them dark green hoop things around its neck. And so that's just one of the slight inconsistencies that I noticed, yet no one else would. <laughs> Salamence! Anyway, get that shit out of here! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no Salamence is awesome. It yeah, is I a like, cool design. I, like I used to have my team. Yeah, some of fun and it's a good design, but it's not a Dragonite. <laughs> oh, it's better than the Dragonite. That's what you're saying, that baby Jesus kicks yourself a Dragonite. I love that sketch so much. <laughs> yeah, it's great. You're just so over enthusiastic about it. It's perfect. <laughs> Still prefer Magic Cops. They're solid gold when shiny. Yeah, but not a Dragon type. Plus, <laughs> every Dragon type is lining up to have sex with it. <laughs> yeah, technically, yeah. Silence itself, like, like I've just said, it's a really cool design, but it doesn't really feel much outside of typical dragon. You kind of think, if you think yeah. of a dragonite, it would be spot on Salamence. But there's nothing extra little bits of characteristics to it. Mm, yeah, it's, yeah, it's just like a Not necessarily a bad thing, but when you compare it to other Pokemon like Dragonite or even like Charizard, it's just. If There's, that was a dragon type, that'd be yeah. the most overpowered starter ever. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I'm really under level here as well, aren't I? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Altaria. Again. 
think Wally had one of these that we killed. Yeah. Just a flying cloud, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Like some birds stuck in it. I'm just sat there in my Pokeball, just going, gag, you go ahead and fight. I'll just sit back and move on. You're just sat in a beach at yeah. the Pokeball, so yeah. Yeah. This is the annoyance you got for covering up the screen in Air Man's stage in Mega Man 2. Well, I'm angry with you. You die now. <laughs> Let's revive Gather because he needs it. What happens oh, in Oh god, Dragon Dance. What happens in what? I was going to say, what happens in a Pokeball? I don't I'm trying to think. Did they, did they <laughs> ever explain it, or just like they just, they're nah. just converted into energy? The Pokemon, yeah. aren't they? I don't know. Really. It's it's implied that they're kind of shrunken down into something in the Pokemon, but whether they actually are aware of what's going on both in and out of Pokemon. So yeah. You got to remember Pokemon like Oshawa, or what about it? Who can tell what's yeah. going on outside it? So they've obviously got some kind of conscience in there, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> It makes you think about how sadistic it actually is in the fact that <laughs> it could potentially be locked in a small ball for its <laughs> whole life. But then again, PC. there was yeah. that episode where there was a sand truce that was in a Pokeball underwater and it didn't exactly get pissed off when it was released for his Pokeball after being left underwater for oh, God, like, a imagine year that. or so. Yeah. God. There's some fish actually, he taps the open button. Oh, 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 I'm a ground type! Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. That could be pretty lethal actually. <laughs> but when it came out and saw the, its original trailer, it was just like, oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> It'd be like, dude, you put me in a pond. Yeah. <laughs> no, like. There's a lake! That's yeah. that. yeah. well, an entire I mean. town and left yeah. underwater. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so that Pokemon don't seem to mind just casually being abandoned, like or just even left in a place for years on end. Because like, I think of Price's mum, uh, Pilotine in Johto Arc, that got frozen in a cave for years, and he thought uh, it had abandoned him. <laughs> like, that that was years that was implied to be that it was just Did you frozen. You say Mamoswine or Pilotine? Pilotine. Yeah, because Mammoth Swine went to a gem pool. Yeah, because I thought you said yeah. Mammoth Swine at first, because yeah. I was like, wait a minute, no. you're talking about Johto. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sandstorm. Uh, you remind me of that irritating techno song. <laughs> yeah. It's like sunlight, isn't it? You look yeah. around on the belt. Yeah, now I've got this. I'm going to have to look in a minute Except if I get Sandstorm's to. more lethal. Yeah. That's um, some one of them things that it's a good in concept, but if you're using more than one different type in your team, you're screwed really, aren't you? Mm. Yeah. Why has he got random spikes? It's like there's only three types that aren't affected by it. Yeah. Ground, rock and steel. Yeah. Next time we take on the champion. <laughs>